East has always been eager to foster new circuit racing motorsport. But if the region is going to produce an F1 driver, then that person will have to have experience in an open wheel race series, which hasn't existed here until now. Barry Hope of Golf Sport Racing has taken on the responsibility of starting the Formula Golf 1000 racing series. What we're trying to do is to provide the next step of the ladder after karting, because what we probably all know is that the basic skill sets that a young driver needs to have are learnt in karting and or in the first level of the ladder, which is a junior single-seater championship. And there is no doubt that people here expect to see an Arab driver in Formula 1. Although the FG1000 race car only has a rear-mounted 1.0-litre Suzuki engine, in terms of power-to-weight ratio, it wipes the floor with the 5.2-litre Audi R8 V10. These are serious pieces of machinery. It is a high downforce uh, space frame chassis with about 150 horsepower, so it fits in perfectly because Formula BMW is about 120, Formula Renault is about 204, so 150 horsepower is absolutely spot on in a lightweight, high downforce racing car on Formula 3 rubber. In terms of aerodynamics and in terms of the tyres, um, all of the feel the driver will have is totally relevant to the next step of the ladder, which is what it's all about. So when they go to Formula Renault, Formula 3, you know, they'll be in really good shape. Equally, there are no driver aids. So he has three pedals, he has a gear lever, he has six, it's a six-speed sequential uh, gearbox, and he has to learn to drive the car in the old-fashioned way. But more than just being handed a 200 km an hour car, the FG1000 scholarship drivers will be fully trained in all aspects of motor racing. It's not all about driving, it's about data, it's about engineering. They have to learn to communicate with their race engineer, otherwise forget it. And they also need the media training because they're going to have to be an ambassador because they're going to have sponsors because you don't get anywhere without sponsors at some later stage perhaps. Um, and fitness and nutrition. So with the series now in place, it's just a matter of filling the driving seats with young committed drivers. There are a number of nationalities. There, obviously we have uh, some very promising Emirati drivers here. Uh, some Omanis, very keen, doing extremely well. Uh, and then a, a whole variety of nationalities that, that reflect the demographics of the UAE. And these drivers will be watched and coached all the way through the scholarship. When we're training them, we have a data logger. It's a computer. It's on the car. And when they come back, because they're out there on their own, um, we have a camera in the car. We can see what they're doing. And then with the data logger, we can analyse exactly what they did. There is no hiding place for them. It's this technical approach to training that's part of a very steep learning curve, as the championship starts very soon. We're looking at uh, six events, which is 12 races, uh, running through January through to April. So if you think you have what it takes to be an F1 driver, then check out www.fg1000.net for more details.